Hey, Vault Dwellers. Welcome back. Today, I want to talk to you about one of the hardest things to do when you're a new player, and that is to find ammo. If you watch other videos online, they'll talk to you about a range of things that you can do, all of which apply to larger characters. For example, there's a video that tells you that you should use the ammo converter. Well, the ammo converter costs 500 atoms, but you also need to have ammo to convert. So if you can't find ammo, why are you going to use a converter? They also will tell you to run daily operations or expeditions. Daily operations require that you're a level 50 character. Expeditions require that you've already completed all of the authorization missions for the responders. And maybe you're just starting out and all you want is some ammo. They also tell you to buy it from other players. That's a stupid idea. You don't have caps to go and buy ammo from other players. And that applies to the ammo machines as well. Ammo machines suck. They never have enough ammo, and it's always too expensive. So what does that leave? Well, that leaves you a couple of options. One, ammo boxes. Two, duffel bags. And three, killing everything you find. We're going to do it all in this video. This is an ammo box. In fact, this is not only an ammo box, this is a box of ballistic ammo sitting in front of the ammo box, which is another way that you can find ammunition. But ammo boxes are what we're going to be looking for. These contain ammunition for whatever weapon you're currently carrying, and they also contain unrefined gunpowder. My primary weapon right now is a tactical 44 caliber pistol. You can see when I approach this ammo box, I get 44 caliber rounds. I didn't get any unrefined gunpowder this time, but that's okay. Also here on the table is a box of 45 rounds, and I'll just take that. These are what we want to find. You want to look for them in places like lookout towers, guard towers, next to turrets at military locations, or any place that you think might have a military presence. There's a perk card called Scrounger that increases your chance of finding extra ammunition in ammo containers. I highly recommend that you have this, although it's not necessarily worth carrying around all the time, especially if you're a low-level character and you don't have very many points to use for perk cards. But it's good to have, and when you go out hunting for ammo, equip it. As you rank up your scrounger card, it will give you up to an 80% chance to find extra ammo in containers. As you're out scavenging in the world, there are some things to keep in mind that will help you find more ammo. One is to stick to one caliber of weapon and stock up on ammo just for that weapon. You could, for example, have a pipe pistol and a pipe rifle that use the same weapon caliber, but one could be configured for short range and one for long range. You can look for boxes of ballistic ammo. You can make sure that you kill every single enemy that you find that has a gun. They will almost always have ammo for your gun or else they will have their own gun and its ammo. Use VATS to conserve ammunition. With VATS, you don't have to worry about sighting. You will still miss until you get your scores up high enough, but it's better than trying to sight down the barrel of a gun. Keep weapons in favorites so you know the weapon that you want to use, and have a short range and a long range one that you can switch between. This will allow you to start targeting enemies as they're further away, and if they move in close to you, then you can switch weapons and hit them up close. You can also make your own ammunition. But that's probably a video on its own. I spent the last couple of days going all around the forest and finding locations that you can use to stock up on ammunition. You can treat this like a chore. Just run one of these routes before the end of your day and make sure that you stock up on as much ammo as you can so that the next time you log in and play, you're ready to go. There is a north route and a south route, and both of them start at Vault 76. Vault 76 has ghouls. They're easy to kill. And you can see already, they have ammunition for me. Inside of this APC, ammo box, duffel bag. Next to the gate, 
ammo box. And you just heard Scrounger kick in there and help me get some extra ammo. On this bus, strangely enough, it's a duffel bag. It may also contain ammunition. There we go. And some ammo on the ground. Some ammo over there. Opposite the bus, ammo box. And then back outside the front gate, behind the tank, ammo box. Next stop, Oregon Cave. Next to this winch, ammo box that's locked, but it's a level zero lock. Here, there's an ammo box as well. Oh, but that one's locked, so I'll have to come back to it. More will come to All right. Play. This is a footlocker. Sometimes they have ammo as well. Two more locations in here. One is back here, I think. There's an alcove with cages. You hear that guy banging at the weapons workbench. Follow that sound until you find him. And there you will find another ammo box. Keep us safe from the dangers of beasts and men. Wise and holy Mothman, watch over us in our time of trials. I fear nothing now to my final reward. last place, come back here into this alcove that has some cages, and you will find... I must be strong! Holy Mothman! I join you in eternity! <laughs> you will find a bunch of dramatic people, and then you will also find another ammo box. This one does contain unrefined gunpowder, which is great. You will use that to make your own ammunition. There's a bunch of other cool stuff here. Makeshift battery if you want some lead. Duct tape for adhesive. A bunch of stuff for steel, which you also need to make your own ammunition. Blowtorch, which gives you oil. 10 millimeter pistol you can scrap. Some more stuff for steel. And I'm picking all of this stuff up just because 
Is there a rad rat pup in there? Oh yeah, so there is. Anyway, I picked up all of that stuff, even though it is heavy, because I know that I can go back to this alcove with the weapons workbench and scrap it all. Next stop, Blue Bridge Bunkhouse. This place has both ammo boxes and explosives crates. Explosive crates aren't necessary. Building this place up is hard work. Everybody in Appalachia is so rude. Here's the ammo box. This place has a lot of potential. And here's one of the explosives crates. Explosives crates aren't going to give you ammunition, but they will give you things like mines and frag grenades and, well, explosives. Those things are also useful. Those Mothman cultists give me the creeps. They're all just crazy. Here's the other one. Fragmine. Next stop, the coop. The coop is a raider camp, and depending on how you've been treating raiders, you might find them to be friendly, you might find them to be not friendly. In my case, they're friendly. So I can just wander through their camp and steal all their stuff. I hate it when things get messy. It's gonna be a while before I get that image out of my head. Explosive crate. That's how it's done, asshole. Two ammo boxes. This place sucks. We're better off up north. and another explosive script. Our next stop is a bit of a hike, and that's the West Virginia Lumber Company. Inside of the West Virginia Lumber Company, you will find free radicals, and you may have already been through here as part of the initial round of missions from Duchess to get them to leave the wayward alone, but... Whether you have or have not, you definitely should expect a fight. So you've got a couple options. You can be sneaky, or you can go in guns blazing. Behind this door is a trap, so be ready for that. There's your trap. There's a guy there, there'll be a guy at the cooking station. Look at all that ammo. This location has a private area and an outside area. Some of the stuff is inside of the private area, but the rest we should be able to get to from over here. Now there's a turret, and there are going to be some additional enemies once we get further in. Ammo box. Notice how it was for the gun that I'm carrying. For the next one, 
I'll switch to my 44 before continuing. Explosives crate. This one actually had ammunition in it. The last part of this location, we will go into the private area. And since I've already cleared this as part of the Wayward missions, it should be empty. If not, we'll just give everyone a hug. Explosives crate. Ammo box. Shotgun shells. And lots of other junk. That's the northern route, and other than the West Virginia Lumber Company being a hell of a firefight, the rest of it is easy and quick. I'll swing by my camp, drop off everything I've got, and then we'll run the southern route, which is longer, and therefore will give you more ammunition. For the southern route, we will start again at Vault 76. We already cleared everything here. So the next one is Forward Station Tango. This is a Brotherhood of Steel outpost, and they are also friendly. So they'll let us steal everything they have. I have lots of 10 millimeters, so I'll switch out to 44. In this trailer, you have two ammo boxes. Some other important junk. Definitely take that military grade circuit board. A tinker's workbench is where you can craft ammunition. It's not the so all you need is gunpowder, lead, and steel, and you can make lots of rounds of ammunition for pretty much any gun that you're carrying. Up here on the catwalk, another ammo box. There's a lower catwalk. want to rebuild, but they're only looking to the future. We need to understand the past as well, or we'll make the same mistakes going forward. Fort Atlas is in good hands. Knight Shins trained us well. Over here is a duffel bag. Or ammo. Last, we want to come down here to this APC. Up to? Inside of which is another ammo box. This one's empty. But there are two more over here. Next location is a Blood Eagle camp called Hunter's Ridge. I swear to God, I don't intentionally shoot them in their nuts. It's just how it happens. All right, is everybody dead? Can I get on with my video?
In the cooking area, we have an explosives crate. Frag grenade, that's helpful. Always pick up things like portable fuel tanks because they give you oil, and oil is what you will need if you use a flamer. Ammo box. And the last thing here is another explosives crate that's rigged by a trap. Oh, well, there's no trap today. That's nice. Oh! <laughs> there was the trap. <laughs> it fell. Next on our tour, Flatwoods Lookout. Flatwoods Lookout is a settler's location, so you don't have any enemies to worry about. Ground floor, you have an explosives crate. I'm not going to open it. Upstairs, you have an ammo box. Next, we're going to go to Sutton. First place we want to stop is the liquor store. All right, liquor store. Duffel bag, empty. Must be an ammo box somewhere. Aha, there it is, hiding. Ammo box. The next location is the overseer's house up on the hill. Ammo box. And we can go inside and straight up ignore her. Oh, thank God you're here. I'm not talking to you. It's just so good to see you. Let's talk downstairs. Cozy as this place is, we really went overboard with this place. Feel free to look around. Next stop is the New River Gorge Resort. This location has a fair number of ghouls and a bunch of different cabins that have a bunch of different things. Oh yeah, it's got insects too. That's what they're fighting outside. Okay, so from the main building, you have one, sorry, you have one, two, three, four, pool area, five, and six cabins. In cabin number two, there are two duffel bags and an ammo box. So enter, clear it, and then let's collect our loot. Clear. Duffel bag, empty. Duffel bag, ammunition, ammo box, empty. Next up, pool area. That's cabin number one, cabin number two, three, four, pool area. Pool area will have mire lurks. There, elevated platform. My alerts can't get me. Maybe. Shit. Maybe they can. Can I blow up the car? Where's the last Meyer lurk? Ah! 
die! Before me. Right. So, perhaps you should avoid the pool area. Oh, not bad. Level 11, taking out three level 30 Mirelurks. Okay, back to the pool area. There's a playground off to the side here. I probably could have just snuck over here and avoided the entire Mirelurk debacle. And for some reason, on the playground is a box of ammunition. It says so much about our society. All right. This should be cabin number six. Okay, in the sleeping area is a duffel bag, which is empty. It's a footlocker. Maybe that'll have something interesting. Nope. Next up is the lovely town of Flatwoods. Flatwoods is a responder's town, so there are very few enemies here. You can just run in here and do your thing. Hmm. All right, inside the church, upstairs is a duffel bag. As you can see, not all duffel bags contain ammunition. Many of them do. Some of them contain other things like junk or pre-war money or nothing at all. Inside the tavern, opposite the church, on the pool table. I bet this town was really nice before the war. Is now a box and some ammunition. Oh, and a delicious Nuka Cola. And a recipe for ground mole rat. Mm, mm, mm. And just south of the tavern, oh. just south of the tavern in this truck is another duffel bag that also contains no ammunition. Our last stop is a place called Orwell Orchards. This place is overrun by Mr. Farmhand's robots. So be prepared for a fight. Combat inhibitor is hands down the best place to shoot Mr. Handy style robots. When you get to be a little bit bigger, you can one shot them there. So like every location, clear it. Before you do what you need to do. Initialize scanning protocol. Scanning. Acceptable levels of knowledge. In the barn. Upstairs. Ah, there it is. Ammo box. And duffel bag. So on this adventure, I've been able to acquire hundreds upon hundreds of rounds of ammunition for the guns that I'm carrying. This is more than enough to keep me in the fight, and this is the kind of a route that you can run once a week and get all the ammunition that you need. If you have a friend that you can run this route with, you can collect two times the ammo. So if there's somebody who already has enough ammo, but they want to help you out, run it with them. Have them get ammo and drop it for you, or have them equip different guns so that they can get different kinds of ammo you can collect for 10 millimeter and they can collect for shotgun or whatever the case may be. I prefer to make my own ammunition, but like I said earlier, I'll have that in a different video. My name is Oscapt, and until next time, stay safe out there, Vault Dwellers.